welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to maximize social media and get the most awareness about your Facebook event. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to events here. And then once this screen comes up, you're going to go to your events. So if you notice the top line here are all the events that you mentioned that you are going to. So you want to find the event that you want to advertise. I'm going to click this craft fair, for example, and you're going to come to the event homepage. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to invite people to the event. So we're going to click this envelope button and this screen will pop up. And if you notice, you can invite 500 people to an event. So one thing you don't want to do is click select all. And the reason why you don't want to do that, even though it's easy, is because a lot of the people that are auto-selected are not even going to care about the event that you are asking them to attend. So we're going to cancel all of that and we're going to actually cherry pick. We're going to read the names and kind of think about that person and wonder if, you know what, hey, I think that this person would really enjoy this event and just skip the people that you know that won't have any interest. This is going to maximize the amount of people that are actually going to attend your event and not just waste um, the extra spaces. So if you notice, it actually auto counts for you. You can also go over here on the left side and look at events that you've hosted in the past and Facebook will actually show you all the people that attended or who asked to go to that event last time. So this makes it a little bit easier instead of just going through your whole friends list. If you see this option here where it's grayed out, that means that that person on your friends list has already been invited. You can also go to groups here at the bottom. Um, so if this one says home base vendors and crafters, so I know that the people in this group would enjoy the event that I'm throwing um, right now. If you notice that you accidentally selected someone, you can go over to their name and just hit the X button and it will take their name off of the list. Then you can go ahead and send. Um, so it will send them a notification that you invited them to an event. Um, another thing that you can do to invite people to your Facebook event is just click this option here to share to your feed. So that will automatically go to um, your feed from Facebook so all your friends can see it. Another thing you can do is go to Messenger. So if there's a particular person that you want to invite, you can write them a message. So I'm saying I think you would really enjoy this event. And then I'm going to type their name in. Maybe you have like a particular friend or someone you think that would really enjoy the event and you can find their name and invite them, invite them that way. You can also just scroll down and find people as well. So if I go to my contacts here, I can send. And if you notice right away, you'll have um, this pop up over here and it sent them a message. I think you'll really enjoy this event so they can see that directly to their messages, which is really cool. You can also copy the Facebook link. So if you want to post this somewhere else other than Facebook, um, you can just copy it there so you don't have to, makes it really easy. One of my favorite things that you can do is actually share to a group. So I'm a part of a lot of vendor groups on Facebook, so I will actually just share to that particular event. So when you're sharing to a group, it's really cool because you just wanna click this and type your message out. And then you're gonna click post. Or if you like to do some add-ons, you can click these buttons here and actually tag the event. So I'm gonna type the name of the event, Mother's Okay, now at the top you can see is attending Mother's Day Market pop-up shop event. Um, you can also tag people or check in, which I believe is like a location option. So I'm gonna hit post. So once you post that, I want to show you what it looks like for someone who is a part of that group. 
Okay, so if you notice, we just made that post and we're on the top right here and it has the message that I typed right there. And another cool thing is if you actually go to events, your event now shows an upcoming events for this group. So it's really cool to continue to post in as many groups that you can because when people are looking for things to do, they go to the event tab and there is your event that takes you directly to everything that you're gonna be doing. So there you have it. I hope that this video really helped you guys in finding new ways to get more attention to your Facebook events. So if you have any questions, definitely comment them below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.